unfortunately I'm running out of a bit of time so if I sound like I'm rushing a tiny bit that is why but I really had to film this because not only is this an intro to a project but it's an intro to a project that I created myself which is really exciting it's also in collaboration with the fantastic ladies and I will link the sign up sheet below if you want to join there will also be a link to everyone else who's joining this project but this is Pan of Green Gables which is about, you guessed it, Anne Marie Gables, that is the theme. And so I made eight prompts to go with the theme based off of mostly the first book, but generally all eight books, which I love them all. I read them all. I've read the first three definitely more than the others, um, especially the first book I've read multiple times. <laughs> but I've loved that book series since I was very young. Um, in the thumbnail, you'll see me with the doll that, um, my fifth grade teacher gave me the book series because I guess I got really invested and she's like you can just keep this book series which was really nice and then she for some reason had this porcelain doll from Prince Edward Island of Anne and she gave that to me too which was super sweet and so I never I, I can't get rid of it you know it's a gift it's it's it was very nice but this project starts today or generally this week in February and it goes until eight more months from now, I believe it ends in October. I will put the information down below of when exactly it ends, but my brain is kind of scattered because I'm thinking of a million different things right now. But let's just get into the prompts. And the first one is carrots, which is obviously a reference to hair as red as carrots because everyone called Anne's hair super red. So it's a product that's red or orange. Um, I almost <laughs> named this prompt like, hey carrots, but I already do a Gilbert references anyways. Um, so I chose the Pacifica Color Quench Lip Tint in the shade Blood Orange because it has the word orange in the name and my goal is to completely finish it. It currently has a decent amount left. Oh, that's it. Okay. But it is a tinted lip balm and so it's not, not super pigmented but it goes a bit slow despite being creamy. It's, it's a bit firmer than... I finished one of these in the past though. Um, so it wouldn't be too hard but... I just have to use it every day. I don't love it as much as I used to. I'm kind of getting sick of the like orange Vitagummy smell to it. It's just not my favorite. I wouldn't repurchase it, but I like it well enough to finish it. And it's something that's pretty easy to finish. Also, my apologies if it's really dark, the sun is setting. Another reason why I'm rushing. Next prompt is Lake of Shining Waters, which is obviously in reference to, I think it's like Barry's Pond is what it's actually called but um, it's something that is shiny. So I chose two products because they're both shiny and blue and they reminded me of water. Um, this is the only product left of the CoverGirl Sterling Blue that isn't in Franken's. And so there isn't a ton left that I repress into here, but I would like to finish this. And then this is what is left, again, that's not in a Franken of one of the shades from my Wet n Wild Stop Playing Safe palette, my goal is to just hit pan just to get a bit more use out of it because it's very old. Now the next prompt is Broken Slate, which is obviously referring to when Anne bashed Gilbert's head with her slate and then broke it in half. So the prompt is something that is broken or damaged. So I chose this very old Milani Romantic Rose Blush a couple years ago. I dropped it and it broke, but luckily it was closed so I could save most of the product. I didn't save all the product because I was new to repressing, but I repressed it. It broke again. I had to repress it again. It it very much looks damaged. So my goal is just to use this, I think, 50 times. Yes. Um, and it's pretty thin. I'm thinking I'll probably end up expanding a lot of the pan, but there's a lot of just like hard pan on the side. I don't know if it's because I was new to repressing or it's just this really dry formula. It did not repress well. So um, not all the product seems usable. So I might end up finishing all the product that I can, who knows. But um, even if I were to finish it, I wouldn't count it as empty because it, I ended up losing a lot of product in the process and wasting a lot because I didn't know what I was doing. But anyways, I would like to get at least 50 uses out of this blush. It's just a really pretty pink, pale neutral blush on me, but it's ancient. This next prompt you could call just Gilbert Blythe, but I added in the description my borderline obsession with because the reason this prompt is what it is, which is a product that has the letter G in it, specifically if it has like starts with the letter G, um, because when I would read the initial Henry Gables books, I would like skim the chapter for any capital G's 
because I was like, I need motivation. Is Gilbert in this chapter? Because I was so invested in that love story. Ugh, I loved how it made me wait three books. Spoilers, I guess, but I mean, you're here, you probably know. Um, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I had a problem, but uh, what can I say? So I chose more Milani products. These are their strobe light highlighters. And so the shades are Summer Glow, Moon Glow, and After Glow. So obviously the G is for glow. My goal is just to use each of these 25 times. Obviously I'm not crocheting pan on any of them. I'm not someone who wears highlighters a ton, but I do wear them as inner corner highlights. And I just want this as a push to use these more because sometimes I forget and I feel bad for having these giant highlighters. And I got them mostly right before I stopped wearing highlighter on my cheeks. I just don't love the look anymore. But I would like to get more use out of these. This next prompt is puffed sleeves because Anne really wanted puffed sleeves. And obviously Matthew got her the puffiest sleeves possible. Um, so that prompt is <laughs> something that is super big or bulky, um, specifically like packaging or just a ton of product. Um, and I chose the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder just because it's a really thick packaging and it has like a compartment underneath. Um, I pressed something down there, so I'm not gonna show you, but um, it's annoying because I broke, ignore the Band-Aid. I stabbed myself while cutting an avocado and had to go to urgent care. That's a story for another day. Anyways, my goal is to finish this and that shouldn't be too hard. I don't use it all the time, but Especially when I'm filming, I like to keep my face matte, but it just depends on how my skin looks and if I want to use a mattifying powder or not. But as you can see, there is a pretty significant pan. Um, I'd say it's fairly thinnish in the center, but I don't see the pan expanding super, super fast. So I'm not sure if this is going to be gone as quickly as some might think it would. So the next prompt is pretty simple. It's Green Gables and it's something green. <laughs> For, for, you know, I don't think I have to explain that. Um, I chose something that is debatably green. It's, I would say it's a green toned blue, but some people might say it's a blue toned green. It's kind of like a minty green. Another shade from my Wet n Wild Stop Playing Safe palette. I would like to, I'm gonna say hit pan, but if that happens really quickly, then I might keep it in and see how far I go. But initially just hit pan. I used it recently once. Um, that's why it looks like this, but. I might try to like use the entire pan so that when I hit pan, it's already like pretty thoroughly used instead of focusing just in the center. It's another really old shadow. This is definitely like the best formula from that palette, but uh, it's, it's really old. I just need to get some use out of it. But the next prompt is Matthew Cuthbert, and that is something that is sweet because math, it's, uh, it's Matthew. He's so sweet. So I chose the e.l.f. Rider Dye Lip Balm in the shade Tough Cookie. Not only because tough cookies, you know, cookies are sweet, but also it smells kind of like a sugar cookie. So I have it on my lips today, but my goal, as you can see, when I put it, when I squeeze it down, it's where that line is. Um, my goal is to at least get it to the bottom of this ride or die part of it. Maybe a little bit further, but it's, it's slower going. It's not something I like to use all the time because the applicator is just so not ideal. So we'll see, but I, I would like to at least, you know, get down to that point. Who knows how fast it'll go. The last prompt is Marilla Cuthbert, because obviously I have to have Marilla if there's Matthew. And that is something that is hard packaging on the outside, but um, a soft product like a cream or a liquid product on the inside, because Marilla acts like she's super tough and hardened, but she's a softie on the inside. She just doesn't want to admit it. Um, so I chose two eyeliners from Essence. I have the shade But First Espresso and Black Love, and my goal is just to use each of these 20 times. I'm actually using the brown one today on my lash line. I don't love these on my waterline. I just like the lighter one on my waterline, which is what I have today, but I use that pale one super often, so I didn't find the need to put them in a project pan because I just use it pretty frequently. But these ones I often don't, just because I, I don't know what to... <sighs> I need to use them more on my lash line. I tried this brown one today and I actually really liked that. And I just, I need like a push to use these more. So 20 uses on these each. Um, and we'll see how far down they go. Both probably need sharpening. I don't know why the black one's so much shorter. I swear I have not used the black one that much, but yeah. Anyways, those are the eight prompts. 
let me know if you plan on joining this project either like through Instagram or YouTube or just on your own in private. Please check out everyone else who's doing this. I just, I love this prompt. The books make me so happy and I really loved the Canadian mini series with Megan Follows and Jonathan Crombie and so many good actors and I also really enjoyed Anthony. I had to watch that again. I was really upset that they canceled the series. Netflix, why does Netflix always cancel the good shows and keep the crappy ones? That's a rant for another day as well. But um, I just, it's great. It's, it's, it's great. I love the character of Anne. So for all you kindred spirits out there, I would love to hear your favorite thing about the books, about the movies, the TV series, all the different stuff. Um, like who's your favorite character or which iteration do you like best? Um, but I'm just really excited. I hopefully can update every month, but if things get really busy, I might do it every other month, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye.